All right, so we're gonna do uh, maintenance on the Tipman carbine. Uh, we're gonna lube the response trigger and the bolt. So how you get the trigger assembly out, you push out your fire selector. So it doesn't take that much effort to get this out. push up on the trigger and then the whole entire thing comes out so how you uh, open this take a small screwdriver and you can split the two halves there's a lock here and there's a lock here this lock tends to be a little bit harder so you can push it down with your finger and then split the half A little thing you seen fall out that was a, was a shim I made for the cylinder. I got the idea off the Tipman uh, owners group from one of the members on the on the group. Okay, so it's your trigger assembly. I found uh, debris before inside this neck. So if this is the first time you guys are opening it up, uh, it's, you know, it's worthwhile to check. So you can just pull out the trigger. You don't really have to worry about springs blowing up and going all over. So you can undo the bayonet. And when you guys put the bayonets back together again, you want to make sure that your O-rings are actually still there, yeah? If you're not careful, they might pop out and then you're gonna have a air leak if you try to assemble it without the O-ring. So the bayonet, I know the bayonet, sorry. The neck is, there's still a little plunger inside of it. Um, you can just inspect it. If there's no rubbish or there's, there's nothing in here, just put it back together again. This is actually the piece that you guys are gonna need to lube. Uh, this is the cylinder for the trigger. Again, super easy to take out. You just pop it out under the bayonet. Again, you want to make sure that your O-rings stay there, yeah, in the, the bayonet. So, with the cylinder, you want to pull it apart. You can clean up uh, everything in here. And what you're going to loop it with is, it's the same stuff that, that, that comes with your gun. You just want to put it on the seal. So it doesn't, it doesn't take much. All right? When you put it back together, uh, sorry, when you put it back together again, you want to be careful because this edge is kind of sharp, so... Just gently work the seal in. Okay, and you just want to gently get it past that and you're good to go. Cylinder's lubed. Uh, when you're assembling it, gonna be the exact same thing as how you took it apart. Uh, try not to make this too tight. You don't want to damage anything, yeah. Just till it's snug. There's a there's a little um I guess like a, a little cutout for the spring to sit so it's pretty easy to put it all back together again. I'm gonna put it over the dowels. There's a on this piece on the neck there's a flat spot. So the flat spot is actually gonna go towards the trigger. And there's really only one way you can put it back together again.
Okay, and then this flat spot will go this way, and that's pretty much it. That's maintaining your trigger. I'm gonna put this back together. It just snaps back together. Um, I talked about this before. These are little AG shims that I cut in half. I was using it to shim the, the cylinder forward. Get in there. So I actually did it for both sides. Put this back together again. pretty much it. Uh, you can also, when they talk about uh, drop oiling, a lot of times you just put like a little bit of oil in here or you can put the gun back together and what I do is I actually put the oil inside the, the fitting. So the bolt, again this gun is super easy to work on. Big silver screw, you're going to take it out. the charge handle so you can get the, the bolt out and then this is your par tube uh, par tube again when you you do your drop oil or you're putting oil in the system and what I use to oil the system is again the exact little tube that came with this gun um, I'd have to look up the part numbers though for if you needed more or something I'm not sure at this moment what the actual part number for Titman's oil is. Um, I also, I've been using silicone oil too. Uh, same stuff that we used with RCs. This is the O-ring that you actually need to lube, so. Easiest way is just to take out the O-ring. Again with your lube, just put some inside the channel of the O-ring. Kind of get it on the O-ring too. Put it back on. You're pretty much done. So to reassemble this or put it back into the upper receiver, uh, there's a little channel here, right? So the rod is going to go into the, the nozzle, it's going to sit like that, insert it inside the upper receiver, you got to pull the charge handle back to get the hammer back in, or the bolt, sorry. And if you notice, there's a little, sorry, there's a little groove cut in here. The groove, uh, the rod is actually going to go inside this groove, so. Okay. And you just put this little screw back in. So you got to push the bolt in. 